This is the Wombot, and it could be a key to understanding sarcoptic mange. It's a robot that's designed to navigate the intricate and mysterious maze of wombat burrows. It can tackle difficult terrain, giving researchers an insight into the underground habitat. Wombat burrows are just such a fascinating environment and it's really this sort of hidden underground world that we understand so little about. It's being put through its paces in the wombat burrows at the Muscle Row Wind Farm in Tasmania's far northeast. The remote controlled robot is fitted with sensors that record temperature and humidity. The burrows are much more complex than what we necessarily expected and we've found wombats sleeping in chambers where they've got bedding material and sometimes just in tunnels as well. The robot is the latest tool researchers are using to help reduce mange. Wombats share burrows and this contributes to the transmission of the deadly disease that's caused by a small mite burrowing into the skin. Understanding the habitat of wombats could be the key to managing the spread of mange. Preliminary findings have already revealed some answers. But what it has been able to do is, is get us some really crucial data that we were missing previously, which is understanding more about how the mites survive down the burrows. The researchers found mites in burrows live longer in winter than they do in summer. Potentially during summer, if you can treat lots of wombats, then you may have a better chance of like, reducing the mite population down these burrows. Researchers are also ramping up field trials of a possible solution. It's a flea treatment for dogs and cats that's now being used on wombats. But before researchers apply it, they have to catch a wombat. And when they hit speeds of 40 kilometres an hour, it's not easy. The advantages of this treatment over previously used treatments is that we think we only need to use one dose to cure the animal of mange, whereas previously you needed to treat them um, every week for a period of 8 to 12 weeks. If successful, it will be rolled out in other parts of Tasmania, finding the right mechanisms to eradicate mange. Damien McIntyre, ABC News, Muscle Row Bay.